Oh, flipping heck. It's too dark in here to read my book properly. I know. I'll go and plug that light in over there. Oh no, the cable's not long enough to reach the socket. Hang on a minute. That's better. Oh, that's so much better. Now I can read my book properly. Well, a big thank you to Mr. Birdie there for introducing Gimmick of the Week. And here it is. It's a self-contained AC mains outlet socket. Allow me to demonstrate. Ta-da! So this is what a main socket looks like here in the UK. This is a double gang one. You can also get them in single gang as well. It's got its back box on. These all have a back box. Quite often when they're on the wall, these are set into the, the plaster and the brickwork, or sometimes the whole box just sits on the outside. This one I've converted with some electronics gubbins into a completely portable one, so it doesn't need any kind of uh, AC mains cable coming into the back like the normal ones do. Let me just flip it around to the back. You can see I've given it a little power switch there, which turns the thing on. It's got a little um, LED, I don't know why that comes out on the camera, just to show that it's, it's on. And there's also a green status LED there as well. I put some stickers on it. Warning, 50 watts maximum load. Uh, it'll do more than that. That bulb I just lit up a minute ago was 80 watts, I think. I think it'll go up to about 150 watts, to be honest with you, but um, I'm not recommending that it's used for that. So I've said 50 watts maximum. I've also put on the sticker saying it's a 40 watt hour lithium ion battery inside, uh, which is what it is. Let's open it up and have a look inside. So inside you can see three of these lithium ion 18650 batteries, and they are literally just the standard ones. Uh, I've got vaping ones because they're, they're pretty good on power delivery. I prefer the, the vaping uh, batteries, even though I'm not a vapor myself. So there's three of those, and they produce approximately 12 volts, maybe a bit less. And these run from um, the battery holder to that switch that I showed you on the back. I've just sealed up there with my hot glue gun. From the switch, it runs to the circuit board. This circuit board's off a car inverter, one of the really little ones you get that plug into the uh, cigarette lighter on the dash. So I've dismantled one of those just because it's such a compact little circuit board. And again, I've hot glue gun that down to the, the back of the, um, the back box here. From the front, there's a modified AC, um, 230, 240 volt cable, which goes to the, the face plate on there. Um, this particular inverter had lots of vents all the way around it, so it can. It was rated to 150 watts, and I imagine it would need all those vents if you were running 150 watts. In this back box, it's obviously self-contained. It's going to get quite warm, and also I don't think these wires are really up to that kind of ampage, uh, which is why I've downrated it to about 50 watts uh, on the sticker on the back. But that's basically it. That's all it does. And uh, it gives you a battery box that's not a million miles away from those little uh, USB rechargeable battery banks that you get, which are very good. But this is specifically for AC mains. And the reason why you might want that is if you've got something like a, a uh, you need to charge, let's say, your, your, your camera battery that will only run on mains. I know my charger for my Nikon will only run on mains. Um, or perhaps an old phone charger that doesn't use USB, something like that. So it is a bit gimmicky, but potentially useful. 50 watts is not a lot, but it will run a charger or a small lamp, something like that. Uh, the 40 watt hour lithium ion battery that I've said, I mean, that's not going to give you an awful lot of power, but let's say you're running something that's 10 watts, obviously that'll give you about four hours then, or uh, 40 watts for one hour, that sort of thing. But you know, like a camera battery charger is probably going to be about five or six watts. So you're going to get about eight hours on a set of three batteries. And of course, you could always bring a, another three batteries along with you 
and a small screwdriver and then you can uh, be, be off again. So potential uses for this thing, uh, well you're going to have to get creative I suppose. One possible use I thought of is like a night light in a tent if you go camping with say a young child and they've got one of these nice little night lights that sends them to sleep and they won't sleep anywhere without it. Well what do you do if you go camping? Um, if it's a mains powered device, well something like this would do, you know it's silent. It doesn't require a generator running outside the tent or anything ridiculous like that. And it'll last all night as long as you charge the batteries up the next day. You could always use it for novelty value like, I don't know, let's say, uh, let's say you're a horse rider. You could put it on the side of your saddle and show everyone that your horse has mains electricity inside it. It's also ideal for the perfect dad joke if you go for a picnic with your family. You see, you could set it down on the ground and tell your kids that there's very good geothermal power in the area and, and wow them that you can uh, light a desk lamp just from the ground. So yeah, it's a novelty thing. Perhaps camping or whatever, it's uh, potentially useful. I mean, you certainly couldn't run your kettle off it or your toaster or anything like that, but small charges, small lights, that sort of thing. Yeah, it'd be fine. Part of the inverter circuit, it does beep a few times when uh, the batteries are almost flat and then it turns itself off, which is a good safety feature. Here's my Nikon battery charging. You can see it, it'll only run off mains electricity. Uh, so it's handy if I'm out somewhere and I need to charge the uh, Camera battery, that works, so it's a portable battery charger. There's another possible use. This is a portable doorbell. Uh, the, the button itself's by the front door, but this is the receiver that, that beeps. So if you're in a different room in the house, you should take it with you and plug it in. But you know, perhaps you're outside and uh, you wouldn't hear the doorbell if you're expecting a delivery. So you could bring this, plug it in there and that'll work. Like thus, I mean, imagine it would power this doorbell for for days. Really, doesn't say how much power it takes, but it'll be hardly anything. Uh, so yeah, you got the two sockets, so you can power two things at once, no problem at all. And yeah, that works really well. See, the battery's still charging there, uh, no worries. I hope you found this novelty uh, portable power supply interesting. Do please like and subscribe, and also put in the comments. Any uses you can think for something like this. Um, perhaps have a go at making one yourself. I mean, it's it's not exactly rocket science, and it's you know this is very much prototype standard. It's just for me. It's not something that I've made for for anyone else. I'd have to do a slightly better job because it's not it's not a particularly neat job, but it's it's practical and, and strong. Um, so yeah, I'll take it with me on my next camping trip. I think you never know what it might be useful for. So thank you for watching my video, and I shall see you again in a future production. Bye-bye. Well, talent is almost ready. Ready. Thank you, birdie. Mm, no problem.